Hello students, how is your studies going on? Hope they are going on well. Okay, today we start with another theory of intelligence given by Raymond Kettel and John Horn. John Horn was Raymond Kettel's student. But the concept of this uh, fluid and crystallized intelligence was given by Raymond Kettel. So this theory is uh, is named as fluid and crystallized intelligence. Okay. Fluid and crystallized intelligence, its origin, it was based on two central factors, fluid and crystallized intelligence. It differs from Spearman's conception of intelligence as a single unit. We all uh, till now we have studied that uh, G about we have studied about two factors G factor and, and S factor given by Spearman that uh, that we studied earlier. This theory of intelligence, fluid and crystallized intelligence, it was based on uh, it suggests that intelligence is composed of different abilities that interact and work together to produce overall individual intelligence. It differs how it differs from Spearman's conception of intelligence. According to Spearman, there are two abilities G factor and S factor. But he says that G factor, he divided G factor into, into two parts, and these two parts are fluid intelligence and crystallized intelligence. So, what is fluid intelligence and what is crystallized intelligence? Let's study. Fluid intelligence. Fluid intelligence is ability to reason, ability, ability to apply logic. When you are in a, a new situation, how fast you come up with a solution, how fast you adapt, your flexibility. This is your fluid intelligence, how fast you come up with a, with a strategy. But the most important thing is that situation has to be new, that situation has to be novel. This is very important. So fluid intelligence, it works in novel situations. It tests your flexibility, it tests your adaptability. How how fast how fast you are how fluid you are this is your fluid intelligence so it is it is your capacity to think logically for example uh, when you are solving a puzzle what happens you have to think from different angles you have to be creative you have to be imaginative you have to apply your logic you have to think from different angles that is the test of your fluid intelligence when you are in a situation that is absolutely new, that is, uh, there is absolutely no learning, no past experience is there, that is your test of fluid intelligence. So this is your capacity to think logically. It solves problems in novel situations. That situation has to be, there has to be uncertainty in that situation. Ambiguity has to be there and complex situation has to be complex. When a situation is complex, when a situation, when, when there is uncertainty in that situation and when you perform in that very situation, that is the test of your fluid intelligence. It is independent of learning. It means there has, you have no practice, you have no experience and then, and then when you perform, that is your fluid intelligence. It is necessary for all logical problems, all especially scientific, mathematical and technical problem solving. Uh, it's, next is very important, it tends to peak early in life and then steadily declines. It, it tends to peak means it increases but then it decreases. Till middle adulthood it decreases. This fluid intelligence, it decreases with age. And it measured by Kettle's culture fair test and Revin's progressive matrices. These two tests you all have studied and if you have any problem you can go through these tests in order to understand fluid intelligence. You perform this test and then you will be able to know what is fluid intelligence. For example, puzzles, for, for example, problem solving strategies. In problem solving strategies, when you, when you apply your, when you apply logic, when you different, when you think from different angles, when there is imagination, when there is divergent thinking, then we are testing your fluid intelligence. Fine. This is your fluid intelligence. Next is crystallized intelligence. It is absolutely different, opposite of your fluid intelligence. Crystallized intelligence is ability to use skills, knowledge and experience. It is basically, it is the ability to use fluid intelligence. When it becomes your habit, you go through some, you go through some uh, experience, you go through some in novel situation, you in a novel situation, when you use your fluid intelligence, to solve that problem and 
and when that when that similar kind of problem comes in your life and and you apply your mind and then you able to, you are able to solve that problem because of the familiarity because of the experience because of the practice you are able to solve a particular thing then this is your crystallized intelligence it is not the situation is not uncertain the situation is not very complex it is based on practice it is based on experience this is your crystallized intelligence it relies on assessing information from long term memory simple it is your storehouse of knowledge and information if i asked you if the the knowledge of your facts the knowledge of facts facts is um 2 plus 2 is 4 it is a fact if you have this knowledge it is your crystallized intelligence your knowledge of historical events your crystallized intelligence if i ask you something about any subject like sports politics industry telecom industry like fine so if i ask ask you questions regarding this it means i am testing your crystallized intelligence the knowledge of facts your journal knowledge if i take a quiz it is your test of crystallized intelligence right it is demonstrated through one's vocabulary and general knowledge okay your vocabulary also comes under crystallized intelligence it tends to improve with age as experiences tends tends to expand one's knowledge okay with practice your crystallized intelligence begins to increase for example if you are a professor in some college or university you have to be updated with your subject so your crystallized intelligence your knowledge keeps on increasing so this is what we mean by it tends to improve with age so with age it happens with everyone with with age your experiences increases then it means your your crystallized intelligence also increases with age it is a product of educational and cultural experience how do you uh, how do you assess to this crystallized intelligence first of all you must be first of all you have to be inquisitive about a uh, knowledge if you are inquisitive if you have intrinsic motivation to learn anything your crystallized intelligence will increase at the same time you learn from your environment you learn from your everyday activities you you learn from your culture you learn from your education background you learn from informal or formal training you learn from your failures all these things they help in your crystallized intelligence and it continues to expand throughout our lifetime we have already discussed because with your because your experiences because of your experiences because of your practice because of your learning it tends to increase with age okay so this is what we mean by fluid and crystallized intelligence there are some of the differences between these two fluid and crystallized we have already discussed you can go through and then if you have any problem you can contact me okay this is fluid and crystallized intelligence given by raymond cattell and john horn thank you